Hey everybody! Today we are going to do a simple experiment to test something I've been wondering about and that is whether or not tannin affects a nitrate test result. Now I know the tannin doesn't affect the nitrates itself, the actual amount in the water, but nitrates do stain your water. I'm sorry, the tannin does stain your water a tea stain color. So if our end result is dependent on a color change, would the starting color of the water make a difference to the outcome of the test? So what we're going to do today is a nitrate test on my tap water. You can see how crystal clear it is. We'll get a result that'll be nice and yellow because there's no nitrate in it whatsoever. So we'll have an established amount. Then we are going to artificially stain the water with some tannin, courtesy of Lipton Tea. And knowing that that will not add any nitrate, it will only add some tannin to the water, we'll test it again and we'll be able to compare the two vials and see if there's an actual color difference based on the stained water, not the amount of nitrate. So let me get that all set up and we'll see what happens. All right, so here is our first test as i suspected it's just nice and bright yellow we got no real color change because there is no nitrate in the water so this is what we've done as far as staining it with tannin that's just tea bag cold water i didn't do anything to the water i just put the tea bag in it and dipped it up and down a few times until the water got stained like that and for those of you who are wondering i've changed water out of my tanks plenty of times that have been that tannin stain so that's not even really an exaggeration of how much of a color change we might be talking about between clear water versus tannin stained water so let me do a second test and then we will actually compare them side by side the actual number doesn't matter we don't have to compare it to the chart i just want to compare it to another test and see how much difference having a little bit of color change to start with has on the end result all right now i'm gonna let my imagination go wild and say the right one looks a tiny little bit darker than the one on the left there but i suspect that's only because i know that's the one that has the tannin stained water in it to start with again i don't know to me, they look pretty much the same, and that's about what I was expecting. That's not really that unexpected of a result. I wasn't expecting a massive color change, and I will show you why. If you look at the starting vials without any reagent in it, there's not that dramatic of a color difference to begin with. The only reason we really see a huge color difference in the water is because the volume of the water. When you get right down to these tiny little vials like this and you put them side by side that's not a big difference in starting color and that doesn't translate to a big difference in the finishing color i kind of suspected that like i said but i wasn't entirely sure and you never know till you try the tannin might have reacted with whatever causes that to be yellow or orange. And who knows, maybe if we did a test of water that had a higher level of nitrate in it, uh, maybe that difference might be more noticeable with the uh, brown coloration or something. I don't know. But I don't think it really makes that big a difference, as I said, because the sheer volume of water is where we get that really stained look. And in these little tiny vials, unless you're dealing with a black water tank or something that's got really, really stained water, I just don't don't think it's going to translate to a huge color difference in the end but now we know so thanks for watching everybody hope you enjoyed that one make sure you're subscribed you never know what you're going to get with me thanks for watching and i will see you real soon in the next one